Okay, so here we are finally. It's time to read Pop This Baby. <clears throat> and I believe I have enough pawn to put this in. I hope the sun isn't too much. It should be down behind a tree shortly. Anyway, so this Obovada, inner variegated Obovada, that I got a few months back, came with two leaves, actually grew just as I was ready to forget about this plant because it wasn't doing anything. I put it outside as a last resort and was really totally neglecting it. And then all of a sudden I got two leaves. Unfortunately, as you saw, I had to cut this one off because it just started looking kind of funky. So I got rid of that and... This one has a little bit of that. Hopefully, I sprayed it, and I'm going to, before I put it in pond, I'm going to go ahead and wash the roots off with some hydrogen peroxide and water. Clean it up real good, and then put it in the pond. Uh, it's not going to be in a self-watering, but I'm going to have it in the same container sitting in here. This has no holes. And then I'll just fill up from below, let it get its water that way. I'm debating whether I need to use one of those wicks, but I, I think it'll be okay. All right, so let's get this out of, this is just rocks. Those, uh, those I, I like these for top dressing, but one day it got knocked over out there, it was in soil. And I just wanted something to weigh it down since it was sitting outside on my deck with wind and all that good stuff. So I just put this in here and it's like super heavy. So hasn't died yet. <laughs> anyway, I cleaned this up real good. Okay. So here you see. Ooh, don't want that falling into my tea. Yeah. It's a beautiful day, but I felt like a cup of tea. Can you see that? I hope that's enough light. My grow lights have started cutting off. Okay, so I do have a little root ball there. Decent one. I guess I'm not going to mess with it too much. We get some of these rocks off of it. I hope you guys can hear me. I have a new mic. <laughs> I should pause this and check to make sure that it's working. My other one died on me the other day, and then I was trying to charge it and was going to charge it, but ended up stepping on it because it fell off the uh, couch. And I didn't know until it crunched below my feet. And that was the end of that. So... I hope that video I made at the nursery was okay sound-wise. If you haven't seen it, please do check it out. I went to Thanksgiving Farms. It was such a gorgeous morning. Very nice out there. It was quiet, not too many customers yet. And that's when I like to go. So you see how woody that stem is? This is very slow growing for me, but the regular Obavada was the same way when I got it. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to wash this off. All right, so <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear that. The fizz. So top heavy, she keeps toppling over. But I just put a little bit of water and then some hydrogen peroxide just to kind of clean it off. Hopefully there's nothing going on with the plant. I angled the, the uh, umbrella outside, so hopefully that glare, sun glare was causing is better for you. All right, so... One more thing I need to get.
Okay, let's see. Uh oh. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. Okay, guys, we've got to wash off some pond. Rinse it off. Maybe I'll take you with me. Okay, see how dirty that is? Wow. I know some people don't wash their pond. I have breath to wash it. Before I turn the camera, I'll put it back on the uh, tripod. I wanted to show you my plant haul from today's shopping trip. You'll see at the end of the video, I had these outside hosing them down. So it's not to bring in any bugs and they've been drying on this boot tray. So tonight, they'll get sprayed down, left in the bathroom overnight, sprayed again. All right, so let me sip my tea, finish that. Okay, before it ends up with pond inside my tea, that's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, so... I rinsed the pond as you saw. This part was dry. Um, this has been soaking in hydrogen peroxide. So, there we go. So, here's the root ball again in the plant. And I also went and washed the leaves off with um, soapy water. So, Nice and clean, hopefully. Now, let's put it where it's going to be permanently. Because I got a feeling it's going to do really well. In here. And, you know, I may give it like a bamboo stick or something. Something like that. Let's go a little deeper. So yeah, I wish I would have thought to rinse out this stuff yesterday or two days ago when I finished my other project. I should have been I should have been uh, rinsing this off. So at least it would have been easier to handle when it's dry. It's really not that bad. So yeah, I have hopes for this obovada. The green one took a long, long time to start growing for me. Still a slow grower. It did not like that shock it had to uh, endure going out into the greenhouse all at once, you know, from air condition air conditioned climate and then going into that hot house. <laughs> it's been a hot summer. Today was wonderful. I woke up and it was cool out. Oh, so nice. All right, let's put this aside. I think I'm going to give it a little bit more just to keep it nice and secure in here. 
these plants can get very top heavy so I'm leaving a little space here to maybe put like a bamboo stick or something eventually yeah so there we go and I'll give her a little bit more water let me go get it be right back all right so for the last minute or two I was talking to myself all right so anyway this I'm going to treat it I'm going to use the shower method to water this in other words just as if it was sitting in soil with the holes in the bottom of the pot let me get it out of here Let's see there you go so I'm just gonna let that get good and wet down there because the bottom half of the pond was dry and then I'm gonna pour that out and we'll see how it does with that method if it starts doing better and growing leaves and all that good stuff eventually I will put it in a self-watering pot it's just I didn't want those pots are a lot bigger and I didn't want to put it in too big a pot okay so what's the next project I think I just made up my mind I'm gonna to try to convert my curtisii I have two but I'm not going to do it with both. I'll do it with the one. I think I'm going to convert that to from soil to pond. See how that goes. So let me go fetch the plant. Let's look at the roots together. And then it's a matter of having to clean up the plant really well. Clean all the soil off the roots. And then I'll put it in one of these self-watering pots and uh, we'll see what happens okay so I don't know if you remember when I bought or I found these at Home Depot oh my gosh I was so ecstatic so happy so thrilled now this one isn't doing as well as this one this one's doing pretty good she's nice and full trailing this one's about to the tree it's starting to trail but I think she can do better so let's clean this plant off put this one in one of these self-watering planters with pond and we'll see how that goes all right let me get the soil off and this one I'm going to put her back where she was in a moment let's see what can I put that in do I have Okay, anyway, I want it to contain the soil here, but uh, it doesn't matter. That's what this mat is for. So, let's flip her, see what we're working with. All right. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the long weekend. It's much needed. <laughs> I have to apologize. I haven't been posting as much as I usually do. Just life. You know how that goes. Sometimes there are things that distract you. But got this far I don't want to lose my momentum and stick with this I'm having fun with this channel I hope you guys are enjoying it okay 
so apparently my phone is cutting off so I may have to do some of this off camera if I lose you again it just cut off on us I my my drive is full and I was trying to work on that but apparently it's not good enough <laughs> I did get rid of some unnecessary stuff off the uh, phone We'll work through it, don't worry. Right now it's limiting me to 2.59 minutes. <laughs> I guess that's all the room I have left. Anyway, you guys who are YouTubers, what do you do for space when you start running out of space with all the videos and photos and things? What do you do? Do you back it up on a separate drive, on the laptop? What's your solution for that? It was nice when I first got this phone. It was a new phone not that long ago. <laughs> and I had all this space to use up. Well, that didn't take long, huh? Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, stop the camera, save that space. Let me go ahead and wash this off really good. Because I think that's the key to try to get as much of the soil off of your roots. <laughs> the perlite's getting to me. Okay. All right. Be back. Okay, so here we are. Oops, <laughs> drop the water. So the root ball is going to sit in water for a little bit because I was having a hard time getting the soil off. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to this. And I'm going to leave it for a day or so, or maybe just for a couple of hours. We'll see. If I pot it up, I will definitely share that with you on camera. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to wish you guys a happy, happy Labor Day weekend. Um, hopefully you guys have a safe and pleasant one. I found that I'm going to see some family I haven't seen for a while, so that'll be nice. Um, uh, but other than that, I'm just going to wish you well. And if I end up finishing this, I'll add it on to the video. Okay. Take care. Okay guys, so it's the next morning. We left off with me trying to soak the soil off these roots. I tried rinsing, very stubborn, won't let go of that. So I decided to, instead of putting this in a pond or LECA, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my new Hoya mix, which is Cocoa Peak, Perlite, and Orchiata Orchid Bark. And I'm just going to stick with that in the self-watering pot with the wick. So hopefully she'll do well in that, in that mix. Um, really wanted to put it in pond, but maybe I'll take cuttings in the future and start that off in a pond substrate as the substrate. So let me get some of this in a pot. This is such a nice airy mix. Um, trying to pull the wick down enough so it makes contact with the water. This is so fine. Some of it is getting through the little holes. Uh, I know what I should do. Mm. Nah, that'll be fine. <laughs> Next time. I was going to put one of those little, uh, those little screens in there. But doesn't work too well with this type of pot because I have the the wick going through here too. The rope or whatever you call that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to take a chance of messing with these fine little roots. So 
just such a long process. I figured let me just go ahead and put this in my new mix. New to me. I think the whole self-watering thing may help. I hope help this plant as long as it has so I don't forget it too. I see some dried up little I don't want to cut those off my hand. I'll get to them later. So let's see. This is such fine little roots. It's tricky. <laughs> tricky to deal with. this I'll be wrapping up the video I was going to show you something that came I got a shipment yesterday so I was heading out I had to come back in and let these plants out of the box because they they felt the box felt warm from sitting in transit and in a hot truck Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was going to show that to you, but I haven't cleaned the plants off yet. I had to come back in and air them out. So, okay, so I hope everything's in contact with the soil. I'm going to fill this up with water. And that is it for this repotting video. Hope it wasn't too long. Hope you weren't bored out of your mind. But yeah, I had to, uh, I didn't want to take a chance leaving this thing in water for too long. But the roots should be really hydrated. But I see like some dried stems here and there. But it's so tangled up. I don't want to mess with that yet. Let it get some water, see what perks up and what doesn't. And then I will snip off whatever's in trouble or dead. <laughs> okay, guys. So have a great day. Labor Day weekend. Uh, I don't know if I'll be posting anything else or when this will get posted. You may not see this until tomorrow. This is now Saturday. Yeah, probably by tomorrow you should see it up. I'll try by tonight, but I know you guys are busy with your family and, and celebration weekend. So enjoy the weekend. See you in the next video.